Good morning, all. I wrap Epstein with your morning flash update for this Friday, the 8th of November, 2024. Getting on to 8.30 a.m. Central Time. The market will open any minute here. You can see that you're up still in the Dow. You're up in the S&P, down in the NASDAQ a bit, and, you know, slightly lower in the Russell. Nothing big there. You've been all over the board in the metals. China came out with its program, its stimulus plan, just what they said, and the market doesn't think it's enough. Now, in all fairness, China's probably looking at now what to do with President-elect uh, Trump coming back in the office, concerned about the tariffs that he's talking about. And aside from that, what are they still going to do to stimulate the consumer? Because this plan doesn't seem to do that. Now, in December, they meet again. It's, it's right around the corner. And it's at that meeting, maybe we'll hear something for the consumer. The plan was about a billion, I'm sorry, 1.4 trillion in size, but over a four-year period. University of Michigan prelim November consumer sentiment comes out this morning at 9. They're looking for a 71. Reading October's was 70.5. And for those of you that trade the grain markets, this is going to be an important day for you. You're going to get your bushels per acre, and those are going to be numbers that you're going to start really living with. We'll see how they do. As you can see, corn is up a little bit, pushing the 430 level. Some traders think if it gets a bullish report, it could go a bit higher, maybe towards 4.5. But I'd look then for the farmer to start hedging. In the uh, wheat market up a penny, bean markets all over the board. It is time for us to leave now November. So say goodbye. I'm just going to follow the January after today. Figured that we'd end the week up there. And on the energy markets, you know, you look at two things to get an idea as to how the market viewed what China did. I look at the price of oil, down. Tells me the market didn't like that. Then I step over to the copper market. And it, this is a bounce. This market had been down 1,100 points. So that's a huge drop in the market. So the market, forget what I think, the market is saying this isn't enough. It's a beginning, and that's all that it is, and as usual, a disappointment out of China. That's the way that I look at it. So today, the question is how do traders want to wrap up the end of the week? Uh, we're done with the presidential election, except for the race for the House of Representatives. I'm assuming over the weekend they get the counts in, and we find out whether or not this is completely a Republican sweep, or if we get something going on there. This morning, you were down pretty hard in the gold initially off of the uh, failure of China to impress the market with its program, but it has since come back very nicely. If you can close on a strong note, that's a good sign for this market to continue its rally. I'll catch up with all of you at the end of the uh, weekend here as we do our weekend reviews. You have a great trading morning. I'll talk to you later.